After a week of swirling accusations of sexual harassment against Fox News CEO Roger Ailes, 20th Century Fox today announced that Roger Ailes is officially out. A day we thought would never come. Rupert Murdoch will take over as acting CEO of the network here to give us a fair and balanced assessment. Of the story is Jim Rudenberg, the media columnist for the New York Times. Jim, um, just a gargantuan story. Um, what does it mean for Fox News that Roger, Roger Ailes is out? I mean, it, can, it, it just will never be the same. It can't be the same network. Roger Ailes is the network, he, and I don't, I don't think that's ever overstated. The, the whole like, way it is is because of Roger Ailes. So can it survive? I mean, like, what, I mean, again, what's its future in a world? I know we don't know who the new, uh, do we have Rupert Murdoch in for temporarily, we don't know who the new leader is going to be, but what, how, how uncertain a future do you think it now faces? I mean, it, the, the way, its future depends on the Murdoch family. Rupert Murdoch was, co-founded it with Roger Ailes and very much approves of the way it is. And I think it's so interesting that he's an interim CEO, right? He's quite elderly. He's playing on the ball. He'll try to maintain it in the kind of Roger Ailes way to the extent that he can for the time being. But Rupert Murdoch's sons, James and Lachlan, they are not their father. They may want to change the network a little bit, but they have to be careful. That network makes so much money, and it's such a, like, destination, especially for, you know, movement conservatism. So I, but they could fundamentally change that network. And even if they decide to keep it the way it is, again, without Roger Ailes, it just can't be the way it is. Donald Trump, like Mitt Romney before him, does a disproportionate number of his interviews with Fox News Channel programs. Is that likely to continue in the short term without Ailes? Um, I think it, it, before I knew Rupert Murdoch was going to be the interim CEO, I thought maybe that could change. Um, because it's Rupert, I think that will remain the same for now. But if I were uh, your network, I'd be trying. You know, I think it's like there's going to be more of a shot at yeah. that. Well, I worked at ABC News when Rune Arledge left. I'm and well aware of just, that. Just made a huge difference. Is yeah. the DNA of ABC News was Rune Arledge. What's an example of something that Ailes did day to day that probably now will be different because he won't be there? You know, I sat there. I spent a, a, a week in his office once, <laughs> several years ago, and while it's overstated that he's dictating every word. In the morning, he is like, hey, he tells his team, make sure you're on this, make sure you're on that. And we know what some of this, like, would the IRS scandal have been covered the same way? Would Fast and the Fury, these kind of, these scandals that became cause celeb as a, causes celeb on the right, were, those were kind of Ailes babies. You so know? like a fingertip feel for kind of the talk radio sensibility of what would drive Fox viewers to stay watching. Yes, but one other thing that's really important is the look. And we've talked, you've seen a lot of writing about translucent, translucent desks. You guys, I don't know if you're looking at my legs right oh, now, yeah. but there's a look of the network. Ailes understands television and how it should look, how, how important it is that it's a beautiful visual medium and it's arresting, and he had a gift for that. It has now been widely reported and is widely assumed that the, what was really the dagger in his heart in some ways was that the notion that Megyn Kelly was among his accusers in this internal investigation going on. Is that right? I, Both the dagger in the heart part and the Megyn Kelly part. I mean, symbolically, it's a huge deal. However, you know, our reporting this morning was you have at least six women who have given statements to a serious legal team that they were harassed. I, I, you're 21st Century Fox and you're a modern company. What do you do about that, right? And, and that investigation would continue. So I don't, Megyn Kelly symbolically was major. She held out when other female stars uh, came forward to support Roger Ailes. Megyn stuck to her guns and, you know, then comes forward as, hey, I was involved in this too, at least to the investigators so far. Uh, it's a big deal, but there's a lot there. The so you, so, 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 I'm sorry, go ahead. The, the highest rated programs at the channel are in prime time. Megyn Kelly, no, contract's up. She's talked publicly about maybe leaving. And the other hosts, uh, O'Reilly, Hannity, very loyal to Roger Ailes. If the primetime hosts leave, how devastating would that be? They've all been in place for a long time. I mean, Bill O'Reilly is a huge star. Megyn Kelly is a huge star. Those are the two huge stars. Losing one of your huge stars, it's a big deal. I don't know if he'll do it. Where would he go? Um, and again, if Rupert Murdoch and his sons keep some of the kind Did of... Do they have a bench if they lost one of those? Do they have people there who can come in and be, take those primetime jobs? That's a hard bench. You're talking about a bench for someone who, you know, O'Reilly is like a, one of those stars that just don't come along. They come along once in a generation. You love him or hate him. The guy is a television talent. So you don't have a bench for that. Mm -hmm. That, you know, Megyn Kelly, you know, is, is a big star. She, if she's here, you know, she's going to maybe can fill that role. But you don't have another person who's going to come in who's that kind of talent right off the bat. That takes it, a lot of time. Is it your sense that, that the sons both were pretty much the driving forces in pushing Ailes out and that possibly the father was a little resistant even to the end? I mean, that's been our understanding. However, again, what, what our best sources at the company are stressing is that if you have 
a, a, an investigation that's finding what they say they were finding that it doesn't matter. All the who likes who and who wants to do what and all the stuff we love to report on, um, it's, it's less important than the legal exposure to the company and its corporate culture. Kind of fascinating that they hired this firm to do a real investigation because you often see corporations hire people and not do a real investigation. And that's the new generation. Right. The, and, and this news corporation, what it used to be called, Rupert Murdoch's company, um, it had a huge hacking scandal. Some people remember that. And they had to reorganize. And, and they were known as this pirate ship culture. Now they have to be more serious. All right, Jim Rudenberg, thank you.